ever think you might want to be a scientist? Or that you could work with NASA? Well, thanks to citizen science programs, you can. Find out how next on Real World. When you picture a scientist, what comes to mind? A person in a white coat? Someone stuck in a lab? Actually, scientists are pretty interesting people, doing some really amazing work. And while some scientists do work in a lab, others work in the field, under the water, or on the computer, the one thing scientists all have in common is that they're looking for answers to some serious real-world problems. But sometimes they need help, so they turn to citizen scientists to assist with their research. So what is a citizen scientist? I think people are aware that NASA has many different missions. We have missions to Mars, we have missions to Saturn, we have many different missions that are observing Earth. There's all this data coming in. And quite honestly, scientists don't have time to go through it all themselves. And we need people to look at this data to tell us what discoveries might be waiting there for us. So this is a way for the general public to do serious, publishable science with us, results that we need. One of the longest running citizen science programs is GLOBE, or the Global Learning and Observations to Benefit the Environment program. GLOBE students from around the world conduct research to measure and monitor changes in their environment. These citizen scientists learn to use specific tools before they go out in the field or begin their work on a computer. And they follow a protocol, which is a special set of steps to do their research. Think of a protocol just like following a recipe for a cake. But why are protocols so important? The most powerful thing about science is that it is a tool to actually discover things about reality. But we all need to make the same measurements in the same way. You have to design an experiment so that anybody, anywhere in the world, could do it the same way and get similar results. There's a thing called a scientific protocol. And this means that wherever you are, we're using the same tools with the same precision. And that means we can all compare our results. For example, let's say that somebody asked you to measure the temperature of where you are. Are you measuring in Celsius or Fahrenheit? What time of day did you take the measurements? Did you do it at nighttime or during the daytime? If we simply ask people, what temperature is it, we get all kinds of numbers that don't make sense. But if we specify it needs to be this accurate, you need to use these units, you need to measure at this time of day, then all of a sudden we can bring all of this information together and compare it and find trends and make real discoveries about what the world is doing. That's the power of the precision of the tools of science. And that's what a scientific protocol really means. Citizen science projects may also require you to practice some of your math skills. NASA school, for example, may ask you to estimate the percentage of cloud cover in the sky. Another project might ask for the percent of a leaf that has been damaged by ozone. When the same scientific protocols or steps are used to collect data, that data can be analyzed by scientists to help them better understand the problem they're trying to solve. So what are some other opportunities for citizen scientists to collaborate with NASA? So which citizen science project should you choose? Well, this is your chance to do a little shopping and let your own curiosity be the guide. The wonderful thing about citizen science is you don't need any special skills to get involved. You, as you stand right now, are prepared to do these projects with us. To me, you really need some curiosity. Are you curious about the planets or about the Earth or the universe? And if you can give us some precision, do the measurements as carefully as you possibly can, that will give us the best results. But you need no special training. Start it tomorrow. It's pretty easy to get started. Just go to the NASA Citizen Science website, pick a program that catches your interest, then be sure to make careful observations and follow the protocol exactly. Get out there and help. You really can make a difference. See you next time on Real World.